Elite Facts presents 10 Deadliest Theme Park Accidents 10. A haunted house ride isn't the kind of place you'd expect to be riddled with accidents, but that wasn't the case in 1984, when a fire broke out at Six Flags Great Adventure. The ride was a simple walk around and would spook the guests at certain points. As if straight out of Cary, the horrific event took place on May 11, 1984, when the castle burst into flames. The wind-whipped flames soared to over 2,000 degrees, melting the metal walls and turning the interior into a raging inferno. Most of the people inside the castle escaped safely, but eight teenagers became trapped and died in the blaze. Their bodies were torched beyond recognition. The park was brought up on charges for lacking safety precautions like sprinklers and smoke detectors, but Six Flags escaped responsibility because the castle was considered a temporary structure. Arson was a likely cause of the fire. The fire was aided by high winds and it soon became a living hell as temperatures reached nearly 2,000 degrees and melted metal walls and left devastation in its path. It was a scramble to the exits, but not all made it. In total, eight teenagers got caught in the house and died within, and caused burning beyond belief. Shockingly, the ride had no sprinklers inside, in case of an incident like this or even smoke detectors. It was found that arson was more likely the main cause of the fire. 9. The Mindbender is the world's largest indoor triple-loop roller coaster. In 1986, it was the site of a horrific accident that killed three people. The accident happened because some screws had come loose and fell on one of the cars, and it had caused the entire train to derail before slamming into one of the sidewalls at full speed as it came back from a failed loop attempt. At the time of the accident, the park was packed with people watching a concert and saw the crash happen as the band played. 8. This clip shows the seconds after a second cart had smashed into the back of this one, sending it hurling around the track. The riders are helpless, and you can hear them screaming for help as the cart comes to a standstill. It was in the summer of 2015, and five people were left seriously injured and trapped 25 feet in the air when the accident occurred. Firefighters had to carry out a careful operation to free the victims and transfer them to a hospital. It emerged months later that the two victims needed to have their legs amputated, while another will be left with serious mobility issues for the rest of his life. 7. Action Park is renowned for being one of the most dangerous parks in the history of parks. Its injury report and customer decline caused it to shut in 1996. On that injury list were six deaths. The most dangerous attraction was the wave pool, or grave pool as it became known. A large swimming pool that would become like a storm when the machines turned on. It had 12 lifeguards on duty at all times. In total, three people have died in the pool from drowning, and it's become a tradition that you're not a true New Jersey kid if you don't get hurt at Action Park. 6. Just to clarify, the proper use of a trebuchet was to hurl large boulders into enemy battlements in order for them to create gaps that could be entered during battle. It was never meant to hurl a human being. So what possessed Middlemore Park to create such a ride is a mystery. It took two deaths before police arrested the ride operators and charged them with operating medieval machinery without a license. Five. This roller coaster is the site of the worst ever roller coaster tragedy. It happened in 1972 at the Battersea Fun Fair. The old wooden coaster was the main attraction and a big hit at the time of construction. The only problem was construction wasn't very good at all. Unless maintained constantly, wooden coasters will often rot and become dangerous. And it was negligence that caused this accident. In 1972, the rope hauling the carts upwards snapped, and the anti-rollback mechanism failed. The cars steamed back down the uphill and into the queuing area below. It killed five children and 13 other people. 4. If you can't be an astronaut, ride a coaster that simulates being one. 
The Echo Adventure Journey did just that. The ride encompassed a whirling, spinning top-style car ride inside a giant dome. During the ride, one of the cars suddenly came loose and lost all power. The car bounced around inside the dome, started a fire before plummeting 35 feet to the ground. Of the 44 inside, six were killed and five critically injured two and five more with less intense injuries. It was all caused by a single faulty screw. Three. Expo Land enjoyed a near 40-year spiel as Japan's main theme park attraction and had been open since 1970 before tragedy struck. In what is still the worst incident in Japan's history, the Fujin Raijin roller coaster derailed and it sent its car flying off the tracks. Tragically, one student was killed and 19 others were seriously injured. It was a broken axle on one of the cars that caused the problems. Terrifyingly, two other coasters were found with the same issues a month later. Two. Kings Island will always have a black stain on its history. On June 9, 1991, a set of tragedies occurred within its grounds. In the morning, a man fell into a pond and began flailing for help. Two men jumped in to save him and died instantly. For some reason, the pool was receiving an electric current and it gave off deadly shocks to both would-be rescuers. The man who fell in initially survived the ordeal. And then, only one hour later, a 32-year-old woman fell from the flight commander ride, dying on impact with the ground. It's the biggest coincidence in the history of theme park incidents. 1. Waterworld USA turned into a deadly visit for one unfortunate visitor and caused severe injuries to many more in 1997. Water slides are no strangers to injuries in theme parks. Most of them are free-falling, meaning no safety equipment in place if things go wrong. They also have to deal with water, a natural eroder to fixings and fittings. A group of high school seniors all wanted to go down one of the slides together, but the combined weight caused the slide to collapse and they all fell to the ground. In total, 32 students were taken to the hospital with varying injuries, while one died from a crushed chest. At their graduation, 17 of those involved had to accept their scrolls in wheelchairs. Thanks for watching another amazing video, folks. Subscribe for more from Elite Facts.